Tinubu is addressing foreign exchange challenges holistically. Bajabi Amila says. <laughs> Bajabi Amila is the chief of staff to President Tinubu, and uh, this one has been accused in several fronts for corruptions, and, uh, uh, and uh, he is still there. Even when Tinubu has been asked to change him, he will not. These people are best of the same feather flocking together. Now, wow, these people are going to wreck Nigeria. The houses have done their own. Now, this, uh, this, this Yoruba with full of uh, corruption tendencies, because there are good Yorubas who, as they said, these are the criminal Yorubas that Tinubu has created over the period. Now they are defending what is not defendable. Uh, telling us that uh, addressing foreigners, Tinubu is addressing foreigners change holistically. How? Okay. To stem the tide of free fall of the Naira, Honorable Femi Beja Bermila, Chief of Staff to the President, Bola Metinubu, has said the President is working to address it holistically. Beja Bermila spoke on Saturday in Lagos, in Lagos State, while addressing journalists after casting his vote at East Polling Unit 014, located at Elizabeth Fowler Memorial School in the ongoing Sur Larry 1 federal constituency by election. On Monday, Naira exchanged for 1506 Naira to $1 from the 1410 he sold the previous day at the Pari market, while it traded for 1349 at the official market from the 891 Naira to $1 he sold the previous day. This is despite the release of $500 million by the Central Bank of Nigeria to clear the backlog or the dollar deficit in the market. This government and this president came in and they knew there were going to be a lot of difficulties and they put in they put in the fundamentals that were not there by the Bamila said. So part of the economic fundamentals he noted a subsidy removal and narrow unification policy of the government. Once those things are in place, then you begin to reap the benefit of those fundamentals. But as long as you don't have those fundamentals, you are just going to be running around the circle and it's going to be getting worse and worse. Of course, the foreign exchange issue is central to all of these, and I believe Mr. President is taking the bill by the taking the bull by the horn, and the issue of foreign exchange is something he is addressing and addressing holistically. You can see all the policies that have been rolled out by the central bank. These are all geared towards making sure we stem the decline of Naira, he said. Hmm, my God, these people can lie to themselves, even when they know in their mind that what they're doing is not holistic. He noted that Tinubu has no other thing in mind in his mind but how to address the issue of insecurity and economic hardship facing the country. The former Speaker of the House of Representatives, however, pointed out it is not going to be easy and uh, urged Nigerians to support the government in its quest to address these issues. We try. Meanwhile, you are all stealing and looting millions of dollars to yourself. Millions of dollars to yourself. You say everybody should manage, everybody should be a situation, everybody should sacrifice. But meanwhile, you are looting, you are busy. As you are talking to Nigeria in one mouth, you are looting with the other mouth. Ha. God will punish anybody that's punishing God's people in Nigeria. So according to Brother Bamila, with the economic fundamentals put in place by the federal government as well as the ongoing reforms in CBN and the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation Company Limited, the country will soon begin to reap the benefit. No benefit. These people, you are not doing the right thing, so don't, there's no benefit. Because the truth is that what you are doing to manage the economy is not the economic fundamentals. You are not producing. You are importing everything. A country that buys more than he produces will spend all its money buying and definitely will be in deficit. And that's exactly what is happening in Nigeria. If you cannot produce what you need, you cannot produce for your nation and export some of it, your GDP is going to go zero. And as your GDP goes zero, your, the value of your money goes zero. That is exactly what is happening. So you cannot just be putting a monetary policy. This is what that was what Buhari did for full eight years. 
fingering the monetary policy using CBN and the Ministry of Finance to finger money policies all the eight years and did not get a result. Tinubu has come and has continued fingering monetary policies, monetary policy, monetary policy. We believe in uh, IMF and World Bank. Meanwhile, you cannot look inward and say, what can I produce? How can I improve my production? How can I improve my manufacturing? How can I improve my natural resources exploitation so that I can have increase my GDP and then increase my, my revenue, increase my foreign reserve, and then boost the value of the Naira? These are the things you should do. You're not thinking inward. What are the infrastructures I need to put in place to boost local production, to boost local manufacturing, to boost the GDP of the country. These are it's, it's as simple as ABC. You don't even need a professor to, to give you this, this heads up. You should know. So it's not by going to NNPC to say you sell, send the money to CBN, or going to CBN to say block all the uh, breed change, block all the uh, 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 forex uh, domiciliary account of individuals, block this, block that. That is not the problem. Uh, those are not the problem. Hey, now well, for this country, I tell you the truth. I don't know where we are going anyway. It is quite unfortunate that we are in this mess and there is no end in sight. Obviously, no end in sight. Uh, somebody is saying, as long as we keep adhering to IMF conditions, Nigeria will suffer and inflation is inevitable. Exactly. The World Bank, the International Monetary Fund, IMF, we're going to give you loan, going to give you grant, and tell you to devalue your Naira so as to attract foreign investors. All those are not the fundamental. Those are not the best thing to do. Forget about these people. They're looking at how to cripple African nations so that they can they continue to dominate. That is what they're looking for. They don't want any country that will spring up and compete with them. Eh? Unfortunately, African leaders are very, very useless in their brain. And Thomas, unfortunately, the chief of staff has no credible reputation to make Nigeria believe him. We we'll just wait and see. The miscellaneous account must be banned. Only in Nigeria do we have a domiciliary account and black market operating in the glare and participation of government in the world. Hmm. Yes, now, but Ebay Miller does not have credibility. He is, this is somebody that has been accused in several fronts for corruption, both local and international. And this person coming to talk, who will believe him? Eh? This is somebody that people have told Tinubu, sack this man because he's going to make you look dirty for where? Because they're best of the same feather, they must flock together. Tinubu can never sack him. That is it. This guy doesn't know that nobody believes him. As he's talking, they're looking at him. I think all these steps would have been studied properly before the announcement. It is very unfortunate. I don't foresee an early res uh, respite in all this. The CBN governor uh, was banking on Dangote and Portaco refineries for a, a downward price in fuel while the company is looking at how they can import their oil from abroad. So where is the respite coming from? Exactly. Dangote is getting crude now from the U.S. How can, hey my God, how can Nigeria produce crude, send it to America, and America will sell it back to Nigeria through Dangote again, the same Nigerian crude? Because the America is not giving Dangote separate crude. It's Nigerian crude that Nigeria should have given Dangote and Dangote will pay in Naira that they sold to Americans and Americans are selling back to Dangote, back to Nigeria again in dollars. Is that all round tripping? That is round tripping. What a weakening. It's very bad. Uh, what a weakling. It, this is terrible. How many times and is this supposed to be a breaking news? or breaking information. Hmm? Addressing it to Naira reaches 3500 to $1 B. I miss Buhari. I don't miss Buhari. Buhari was the worst. He started all of this. Ah, nobody should miss Buhari at all. Tinubu said he would continue for Buhari stop. Buhari laid the foundation for Tinubu. So all of them are bad. <clears throat> all of them are bad. Somebody said he's addressing it in absentia. I'll be right from France. The head of the house is pursuing rat why his house is on fire it's very bad yeah how is tinubu addressing all of this he's in france on a private trip enjoying himself and you are saying he's addressing it how may go ahead Jagaban. 
my president. Okay, well, may I go ahead and about your president and put you in penury. That is what it is. And he has been told to shut up. Okay. Better keep quiet. You are saying nonsense. So thank you for listening and let's have your comment in this regard. Major Bemila is saying that Tinubu is addressing the economic issues holistically. Bajabia Mila, hmm, Baja corruption.